Aloha everybody, Gabe here from the Hawaii Institute of Self-Reliance, His Survival. Welcome back, mahalo for watching. In today's video, I want to show you all how I pack for a day hike and what I pack in my backpack. Don't go away. Okay, first I will provide a link to my EDC, what I have on my belt and in my pocket. But this is just a day hike. Uh, I've got maybe two survival kits, actually three. Uh, this would be my sling canteen setup right here. I've got a flashlight in here and extra batteries and a survival kit, just a mini survival tin right there with all sorts of, you know, uh, just a survival kit, maybe. fishing kit, sewing kit, uh, med kit, fire kit, all sorts of stuff. And then, of course, I've got my beach and tactical sling with plenty of uh, paracord. Beach and tactical, yes, I'll provide a link to my review of that sling. And then I've got a cup right here. And it nestles in there. It's just a typical cup I can cook in it. And gather water in it it's good i just got a clean can 40 ounce right here so that's on my sling pack that i just carry around it's really nice okay so first i've got a machete condor eco go lock right here which is awesome and then i've got a canteen just water for boiling um, I'm not necessarily going to drink out of this. I've had this canteen for a very long time, so I'm just going to use it to boil water. And what's really nice with this backpack is it's tough. It's an old military. It's an army surplus uh, patrol pack, and I'll provide a link to my review of this. Uh, but I always recommend a tough pack that has uh, modular capability. This one is perfect because it's a molly, right? I can put you know, pouches on the side and expand my uh, carry capacity or I could take those off and make it lighter. I always like those kind of packs, right? So now I've got a, uh, what is this, a rain cover for my backpack. I've got a poncho and then I've got uh, some toilet paper and some uh, hand sanitizer right there. That's really useful. Okay. Now, let's go with this front pocket. I'm going to have to take this off first. Yeah. Oh, I've got some carabiners right here just to have. They're really useful. Got a knife. Got some trail mix. Don't really need too much food, but it's nice to have a little bit. I've got some uh, mountain house uh, scrambled eggs for breakfast, and I've got some some seasoning. Tutu's uh, anti seasoning, Hawaiian for anti. Uh, and then I got a ferrocene rod in here. 
I don't know why. Huh. Okay, well, extra pair of seam rods. Never a bad thing. Uh, now, in this main pouch, I've got some camera gear and GoPro stuff. And then I've got my admin pouch. And this has got everything in it. I got a space blanket, fire kit, med kit, map, compass, extra cordage. Uh, Jesus, everything. Fishing kit, you know, just a lot of stuff. A lighter, all sorts of stuff. It's a great survival pack right here. This is the One Tigress admin pouch. And I got a, a water filter right there. And then got my fire kit. This has got my flint and steel. This is, you know, kind of a, a bush crafty kind of uh, setup right here. It's in a, in a dry bag. It's just got like my char cloth and my flint and steel from uh, uh, Dragon Fire, which is awesome. And then I've got a One Tigress tarp and I'm reviewing this so I'm testing it out so this is pretty awesome it's a pretty big tarp and it's lightweight and make some room here all this stuff and then I've got uh, a hammock just a simple hammock and then I've got a schmog which is always good I have a schmog and I've got a saw a folding saw which is always good and then I've got a cooking pot right here. And you can tell by the blackened uh, compression bag that uh, it's got some soot on it. I haven't cleaned it since the last time I used it. So I gotta go home and clean this. Uh, but not bad. There we go. Okay, just a zebra pot. One of the smaller, the handle, it's pretty awesome. I don't want to get everything all sooty, so I that over there. I just got another knife. Oh, I got plenty of knives. Well, give you a closer look at all this. Okay, there we go. Got pretty much everything. Shetty, knives, water, another water bottle, cup, saw, folding saw, toilet paper, hammock, smog, some food, uh, scrambled eggs, and trail mix, cooking pot, uh, some seasoning and rain fly cover poncho yeah fire kit for bushcrafty kind of stuff but there you go that is my day hike setup it's great for the jungle great for the tropics because you saw that I don't have to carry much food this is actually more food than I would typically carry uh, because I could just have coconuts, or noni, or crabs, or OPE. Uh, there's lots of sea life around here. So yeah, this is my setup. This setup is great for a 12 hour pack. I have all the stuff I need really to survive quite a long time in the wilderness, especially in the jungle. You saw in the video, I can go to all these different environments. I do have to worry about that, but not necessarily because if I go up the mountain, I'm gonna expect cold, but I usually go down the mountain where it's by the beach and I'm closer to the beach than to the snow. I'm only at a thousand feet. So anyway, uh, when I go hiking, I prefer to go to the coast. Now, I do have a survival kit in this sling pack, right, a mini survival kit, and I have a main survival kit that has a med kit, fire kit, fishing kit, all sorts of stuff in the main pack. And then I do have another mini survival kit on my belt. And if you go solo camping, especially solo camping, or so, solo, hiking uh, you got to tell people where you're going you got to have multiple survival kits and you got to be careful uh, you could lose this main pack you could lose this I could lose both of these and I would be in trouble but if I had my mini survival kit on my belt I would be uh, the chances of me surviving uh, in an adverse dire straits scenario would be uh, increased for sure now, if I was to go, say, just on a short little hike for a two-hour hike, I'd probably just bring this, right? And if I was to, you know, 
you know, add more weight to this. It could be, you know, an easy 24 hour pack. If I added a pouch right here, I could have more water, have more food, put my shelter right there, stuff like that. So that's what I use this pack for is a 12 hour hiking pack, uh, EDC pack sometimes, and then um, I could use it as a 12 hour camping uh, backpack, basically a assault bag or a patrol pack. That's what this is. And I like the modular setup, like I was saying, so you can add pouches and the capacity and you can take it away and make it lighter. It did rain a little bit. I don't know, you can't really tell, but it did rain. Look at just some light right here. It's such a beautiful shot though. Uh, it got a little wet, but it was only about a minute long shower real quick. Pretty much by the time I got my poncho out, it would have been over. And it's so hot right now, it was a relief. You know, whew, it's really hot. It's probably 87, 89, you know, degrees somewhere around there. Beautiful day by the tropics. Not much of a breeze, but it's just a perfect day to come out and hike and film and show you guys uh, what I carry in my backpack. Now, this isn't, uh, you know, uh, rules. You know, I kind of change it up sometimes. Maybe I'm going to do a little bit more filming. So I'll add a, you know, you know, a little bit more camera gear or something, you know, or I'm going to do some cooking or some fishing. So I'll have my fishing gear, you know. It just kind of all depends on exactly what I'm going to go do by the coast or hiking or something, you know. So I will have a little bit of variation to this setup, you know, depending on what I want to do. And I want to thank you guys. Please comment. Please share this video. Uh, my channel's growing real well. I want to, you know, do better and learn uh, how to edit and I want to just grow and I want to grow my channel. Now I hope you subscribe, hit that bell symbol to get notifications for when I upload a video. And until next time, aloha! <sighs> Such a beautiful day in Hawaii. Paradise. You want to see that shot again? Yeah? That's just gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. This is where I live. The ocean is yours.